Welcome to an overview of my used 2014 Chevy Volt. So I was looking for an inexpensive used car and I happened to come across this. I've always thought Volts were pretty cool cars. The fact that you could drive 36 miles and using just electric, but also have the gasoline engine that can go another 300 miles. So you don't have to worry about road trips and still being able to accomplish those. So I happened to come across one of these, I was surfing, I believe it was cars.com, looking at different used cars. And this was one of the ones I came across. I quickly realized through some internet searches, some YouTube videos, that a lot of these Chevy Volts are coming off leases. So now they're, they're kind of entering the market, so you can get them really cheap. They've, they've, um, the advances with, with electric vehicles and these plug-in hybrids, from year to year are pretty great, unlike a normal uh, internal combustion car. So that's caused these to drop in value significantly. It kind of sucks if you bought one initially, because um, you've, you've lost a lot of the value on your car. But if you're like me in the market for a used car, now's a great time to buy one of these. So here we have the driver's side. Stuffing fancy. Does have these cool leather seats. The model that I got. You see there's the uh, center console. It's got this cool area here for putting stuff. Looks like I need to clean that out. And I've had this car for two weeks. You got a cool storage area here that you can put stuff in there, but there's also through the side there. There's the screen, shows your speed and other information, and then there's another screen there, which we'll talk about in detail here in a little bit. We also have, almost forgot, the storage area here. Now we'll move to the driver's side rear seat. Again, there's that console, which is polarizing for some people. I've never fit three people in the back of a smaller car like this. So I actually think that's pretty nice if I was riding back here to have that um, you know, the cup holders, which is in a lot of cars, and then the armrest, which also opens up and has some storage back here. And of course you have your charger for your phone. I'll go ahead and open up the hatchback now. Take a look at it. So here's the hatchback. You do have this storage net here and hooks for it. So we have those. It's actually pretty roomy back here. Enough to take a family of four on a trip as long as they don't have a crazy amount of luggage. Now I have this side over here, this is the passenger side. And you can see we have a car seat because we have a three-year-old. So this will give you an idea of how well it fits and how it's installed. See there, it comes over the top and then goes down and then hooks in here to your anchor. And then we have the two anchors here for your latch system, I believe is how it's called. And there's another one on the other side. Again, I think it's plenty of space, and I don't feel like it's not going to fit at all. So here we go to the passenger side, again, another nice, really classy seat, again, for a, an under $16,000 or approximately $16,000 car. And you can see the driver's side, and you can see the big old airbags there, which are kind of cool. It's definitely unique. 
there's the inside window. So let's zoom out here. So overall, my impressions of the drive quality and experience with this car is extremely positive. It, whenever you're in gas mode, yeah, the, the engine's a, it's pretty loud. Initially, I, I had to go on the internet and be like, is that a normal sound for it to be kind of that loud? Um, it is, you know, through multiple forms and Facebook group searches. Um, but the electric mode, which is you know, how you know, I'll drive this and how most people drive these cars, this car, the, the majority, you know, over 90% of the time, is going to be in electric mode. That's super quiet. And just the drive itself, uh, the acceleration, it just feels different than a gas car. There's just no spin up. You just hit the pedal and you're going. Um, so there's, there's that. There's how quiet it is. And you know, it's just a very fun car to drive. You, know, you, you put it in sport mode and you know, it's, it's just a, a blast. So that's my 2014 used Chevy Volt. Overall, the last two weeks that I've owned it, I've loved this car. Once you start driving with the electric motor, you really don't want to use a gas motor. Um, it's just such a smooth ride and just a very enjoyable experience. Um, my wife borrowed this for a week, took it to work to kind of drive it. You know how when you get a new car, you're excited about it. Um, same thing with me when she's had new cars. So she drove it, loved the electric, how it was to drive it. She sold her Ford Escape, you know, small SUV, and we bought a used 2014 BMW i3 with the range extender. So also an electric vehicle that has a gasoline motor. So stay tuned for the delivery video on that. We should be getting it later this week. So this has been my experiences with the Volt. I will be doing more videos over the next few months. We will also plan on doing videos on the BMW i3. So these are our experiences and our kind of adventures of being an electric vehicle family. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you want to follow our adventures, subscribe down below uh, so you get all the new videos. And I'd love to have comments on your experiences, questions, thoughts down below in the comments. So thank you and have a good day.